So on this topic, we're going to be simplifying square roots of whole numbers that are greater than 100. So 180 is definitely greater than 100. And we're going to rewrite it as prime numbers. So to do to find all the prime numbers, you start by finding two numbers that multiply to get 180. And that'd be like 18 times 10. 18 is 9 times 2. We can't break down 2 anymore, but we can break down 9. Now, be careful when you're doing this that um, you get the actual two numbers that multiply to get the bigger number. 5 times 2 is 10. And if you're not quite sure you did it right, you can multiply 3 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 2, and you'll see that you get 180. I like putting numbers that are the same together when we have groups of two numbers one of them can come out. It's like saying the square root of nine is three. The square root of four is two, but that's five doesn't have a pair. So it stays inside. We simplify by multiplying the three and the two on the outside. And we get six square roots of five. All right, we're going to do another one. Um, this one is a square root of 189. If I add 1, 8, and 9, I know that 9 goes into that number because you get 18, uh, 9 plus, you get 18. So I know that 9 goes into this, let me guess, 21 times, yeah? So 9 is 3 times 3, 21 is 3 times 7. So we're going to rewrite this as a square root of 3 times 3 times 3 times 7. Only doubles can come out, square root of 9 is 3. And we're left with 3 times 7 on the inside, which is 21. So we will have, as our answer, 3 square roots, 21. And let's do another one, just for kicks and giggles. Square root of 300. So we have the square root of 3 times 100. And 100. Oh, there's double tens right there. I'm not even going to break it down anymore because I know a 10 will come out and the square root of three will stay in. I don't even have to break down the 10. Oops, I gotta get in there. 10 square root of, that's the end of the lesson.